In astronautics and aerospace engineering, the bi-elliptic transfer is an orbital maneuver that moves a spacecraft from one orbit to another and may, in certain situations, require less delta V than a Hohmann transfer maneuver. The bi-elliptic transfer consists of two half-elliptic orbits. From the initial orbit, a first burn expends delta V to boost the spacecraft into the first transfer orbit with an apopsis at some point. R B display style R underscore B away from the central body. At this point a second burn sends the spacecraft into the second elliptical orbit with periapsis at the radius of the final desired orbit, where a third burn is performed, injecting the spacecraft into the desired orbit. While they require one more engine burn than a Hohmann transfer and generally requires a greater travel time, some bi-elliptic transfers require a lower amount of total delta V than a Hohmann transfer when the ratio of final to initial semi-major axis is 11.94 or greater, depending on the intermediate semi-major axis chosen. The idea of the bi-elliptical transfer trajectory was first published by Rhys Sternfeld in 1934. Topic: Calculation. Topic: Delta V. The three required changes in velocity can be obtained directly from the vis-viva equation. V. Two equals mu 2 r minus 1 a display style v caret 2 equals mu left frac 2 r frac 1 a right where v display style v is the speed of an orbiting body mu equals g m display style mu equals g m is the standard gravitational parameter of the primary body r display style r is the distance of the orbiting body from the primary ie the radius a display style a is the semi major axis of the body's orbit in what follows r 1 display style r underscore 1 is the radius of the initial circular orbit r 2 Display style r underscore two is the radius of the final circular orbit r b. Display style r underscore b is the common apopsis radius of the two transfer ellipses and is a free parameter of the maneuver. A one display style r underscore one and a two display style r underscore two are the semimior axes of the two elliptical transfer orbits, which are given by a 1 equals r 1 plus r b 2 display style underscore 1 equals frac r underscore 1 plus r underscore b 2 a 2 equals r 2 plus R B two display style underscore two equals frac R underscore two plus R underscore B two starting from the initial circular orbit with radius R one display style R underscore one dark blue circle in the figure to the right a prograde burn mark one in the figure puts the spacecraft on the first elliptical transfer orbit aqua half ellipse. The magnitude of the required delta v for this burn is delta v one equals two mu r one minus mu a one minus mu r one Display style delta v underscore one equals sqrt frac two mu r underscore one frac mu r underscore one sqrt frac mu r underscore one. When the apopsis of the first transfer ellipse is reached at a distance r b display style r underscore b from the primary, a second prograde burn mark two raises the periapsis to match the radius of the target circular orbit, putting the spacecraft on a second elliptic trajectory, orange half ellipse. The magnitude of the required delta v for the second burn is delta v 
two equals two mu R B minus mu a two minus two mu R B minus mu a one Display style delta v underscore two equals sqrt frac two mu r underscore b frac mu a underscore two sqrt frac two mu r underscore b frac mu a underscore one. Lastly, when the final circular orbit with radius r two display style r underscore two is reached, a retrograde burn mark three circularizes the trajectory into the final target orbit red circle. The final retrograde burn requires a delta v of magnitude delta v 3 equals 2 mu r 2 minus mu a 2 minus mu r 2 Display style delta v underscore three equals sqrt frac two mu r underscore two frac mu r underscore two sqrt frac mu r underscore two. If r b equals r two, display style r underscore b equals r underscore two, then the maneuver reduces to a Hohmann transfer. In that case, delta v Three display style delta v underscore three can be verified to become zero. Thus, the bi-elliptic transfer constitutes a more general class of orbital transfers, of which the Hohmann transfer is a special two-impulse case. The maximal possible savings can be computed by assuming that r b equals infinity display style r underscore b equals inf t in which case the total delta v display style delta v simplifies to mu r 1 2 minus 1 1 plus r 1 r 2 Display style sqrt mu r underscore one left sqrt two minus one right left one plus sqrt r underscore one r underscore two right. In this case, one also speaks of a biparabolic transfer because the two transfer trajectories are no longer ellipses but parabolas. The transfer time increases to infinity too. Topic: Transfer time. Like the Hohmann transfer, both transfer orbits used in the bi-elliptic transfer constitute exactly one half of an elliptic orbit. This means that the time required to execute each phase of the transfer is half the orbital period of each transfer ellipse. Using the equation for the orbital period and the notation from above, t equals two pi a three mu. Display style t equals two pi sqrt frac a carrot three mu. The total transfer time t display style t is the sum of the times required for each half orbit. Therefore, t one equals pi a one three mu and t two equals pi a two three mu display style t underscore one equals pi sqrt frac a underscore one carrot three mu quad text and quad t underscore two equals pi sqrt frac a underscore two carrot three mu and finally t equals t one plus T two display style T equals T underscore one plus T underscore two. Topic Comparison with the Hohmann transfer.
Topic Delta V. The figure shows the total delta v display style delta v required to transfer from a circular orbit of radius r one display style r underscore one to another circular orbit of radius r two display style r underscore two the delta v display style delta v is shown normalized to the orbital speed in the initial orbit v 1 display style v underscore 1 and is plotted as a function of the ratio of the radii of the final and initial orbits r r 2 r 1 display style r equivalent r underscore 2 r underscore 1 this is done so that the comparison is general, i.e., not dependent of the specific values of r one display style r underscore one and r two display style r underscore two only on their ratio. The thick black curve indicates the delta v display style delta v for the Hohmann transfer, while the thinner colored curves correspond to bi-elliptic transfers with varying values of the parameter alpha r b r one display style alpha equivalent r underscore b r underscore one defined as the apopsis radius r b display style r underscore b are the elliptic auxiliary orbit normalized to the radius of the initial orbit, and indicated next to the curves. The inset shows a close-up of the region where the bi-elliptic curves cross the Hohmann curve for the first time. One sees that the Hohmann transfer is always more efficient if the ratio of radii r is smaller than 11.94. On the other hand, if the radius of the final orbit is more than 15.58 times larger than the radius of the initial orbit, then any bi-elliptic transfer, regardless of its apopsis radius as long as it's larger than the radius of the final orbit, requires less delta v than a Hohmann transfer. Between the ratios of 11.94 and 15.58, which transfer is best depends on the apopsis distance r B display style r underscore b for any given r display style r in this range there is a value of r b display style r underscore b above which the bi elliptic transfer is superior and below which the Hohmann transfer is better. The following table lists the value of alpha r b r one display style alpha equivalent r underscore b r underscore one that results in the bi elliptic transfer being better for some selected cases. Topic transfer time. The long transfer time of the bi elliptic transfer t equals pi of one Three mu plus pi up two three mu display style t equals pi sqrt frac a underscore one carrot three mu plus pi sqrt frac a underscore two carrot three mu is a major drawback for this maneuver. It even becomes infinite for the biparabolic transfer limiting case. The Hohmann transfer takes less than half of the time because there is just one transfer half ellipse, to be precise. T equals pi up three mu. Display style T equals pi sqrt frac a carrot three mu. Topic example. To transfer from a circular low Earth orbit with R zero. Topic six thousand seven hundred kilometers to a new circular orbit with R one. 
93,800 km using a Hohmann transfer orbit requires a delta V of 2825.02 plus 1308.70. Topic: 4133.72 meters per second. However, because R1 14 R0 greater than 11.94 R0, it is possible to do better with a bi-elliptic transfer. If the spaceship first accelerated 3061.04 m per second, thus achieving an elliptic orbit with apogee at R2. Topic 40 R0. 268,000 km, then at apogee accelerated another 608.825 m per second to a new orbit with perigee at R1 equals 93,800 km, and finally at perigee of this second transfer orbit decelerated by 447.662 m per second, entering the final circular orbit, then the total delta V would be only 4,117.53 m per second, which is 16.19 m per second less. The delta V saving could be further improved by increasing the intermediate apogee at the expense of longer transfer time. For example, an apogee of 75.8 R0. Topic: 507,688 kilometers, 1.3 times the distance to the moon would result in a 1% delta V saving over a Hohmann transfer, but require a transit time of 17 days. As an impractical extreme example, an apogee of 1757 R0 11,770,000 km 30 times the distance to the Moon would result in a 2% delta V saving over a Hohmann transfer, but the transfer would require 4.5 years and, in practice, be perturbed by the gravitational effects of other solar system bodies. For comparison, the Hohmann transfer requires 15 hours and 34 minutes. Evidently, the bi-elliptic orbit spends more of its delta V early on in the first burn. This yields a higher contribution to the specific orbital energy and, due to the Oberth effect, is responsible for the net reduction in required delta V. Topic. See also. Delta V budget. Oberth effect.